welcome back. If you're new here, then please subscribe and comment below with any feedback as it's all taken on board, positive or negative, as this helps us creators out more than just leaving a like or a dislike. Um, so today I'm in my bedroom and it's absolutely roasting. It's like 29 outside. But I thought I'd film in my bedroom today for something a bit different. I'm standing up, whereas a lot of my videos, I'm sitting down on a grey sofa and white walls. And I don't know about you guys, let me know in the comments what you think, but I'm a bit bored of always sitting on my sofa. So I thought I'd stand up today just before I go off and have my bath and film as I put a comment on my last video and, and a lovely girl got in touch and she said I'd really like to see more content on living alone as I'm moving out soon so I thought that would be a really good idea and have a little break from the shopping until around August time but autumn time I mean not August so I thought I would do start my own living alone diaries um, just like Anastasia Kings North has done and she's done really well with hers so I thought that would help you guys get to know me better so thanks for that feedback so today's video I'm going to do seven things I hate about living on my own I've been living on my own now for just over a year I moved around December January time 2019 so it's, 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 it's a year and so many months now so I've been living on my own quite a while and I've learned a lot in that time and still will learn a lot. So today I've got seven things that I hate about living on my own. Now I've got a little list here just to help me focus because I know I'll go off and ramble on about other, other shit that people don't care about. So today I'm going to be more focused on what I'm filming as people switch off and get bored. So number one, no one to talk to at home. When you live on your own, what I absolutely hate is there's no one to talk to. When I lived at home last, I was with my mum and she would come and go. But you you miss like coming home from work and speaking to other people absolutely hate that um so i have been looking at getting a pet like a dog but if i move next year then it'd be better for me to have a dog in the garden of my own that isn't shared with anyone else and i know it's secure and it's mine and just random people i'm going to be walking across and agitating my dog so yeah living on your own is quite hard and when, you, when you've got no one to talk to at home, like I said, it gets a bit boring and some people can go out of their mind. So my advice for this is to put music on, listen to podcasts, but recently I've been listening to audiobooks. They cost a lot, but I get a lot of value out of them. I'd rather buy so many audiobooks a month now than have takeaways, which just add on loads of weight. Number two, moving on from that, I've got food waste. Now, I've spoke about this in some of my other videos, like my shopping videos and things. Sorry, I'm really hot. And and food waste is one of the biggest bugbears for people who are single and living on their own because a lot of the recipes you look at are like family recipes, they're like four person minimum. And then I did try HelloFresh as well. But the problem with HelloFresh was that I ordered too many basically. So I had too much food, then more food was coming, I was throwing the old away. So I stopped that. I might go back to it in the future, but I like to mount my own dishes really and I didn't like the plastic waste from HelloFresh. So the best thing if you're living on your own, my top tip would be to organise all your food, do meal prep, freeze some of it and put some half of it maybe in your fridge. Or put it all in your fridge for that week and then do the next week come Friday or Sunday or whatever day you've got off. That's quite hard as well if you work shifts. Uh, number three, which I absolutely hate living on my own, is high bills. Now I've noticed a lot of people have talked about this and it's all on the internet when you put in things people hate about living alone. It's high bills. Now, when you're living with someone else, you can share your bills, you split it. My bills are about a grand or more a month, which is considered quite good because I get reduced rent because I rent off a family member. So I should be making a saving there. But once I've had all my gas, electric, car insurance to pay out, petrol and everything else, it's quite expensive, I think. The living cost is going up and up and up because of the ongoing pandemic and other reasons with Brexit and other issues we've got in the UK at the moment. Now, number four, I've got can be stressful when things go wrong. Now, what I mean here is some of you guys know that I had a flood from upstairs. It still isn't fixed. I won't be going into that today because it's just not worth it. But when things go wrong, like you get flooded out by a neighbour or you've got an issue, if you've got a husband or wife or a boyfriend or girlfriend, you've got someone else to share your stress with. And 
what you find, I find as well, when you live with someone else, someone might have a different strength to you. So your boyfriend or girlfriend could have an opposite strength, possibly, to you. And that might be really good at keeping cool and ringing the insurance or whatever the issue is, or the land agent, if there is one. Look, I've got a block management company here because it's a nice net, two story. So we had to ring them and we had to, so it's still going on nearly a year later. It's not good. But when you live with someone else, you can share that stress. Whereas I only had my stepdad and my mum to go to about this. Uh, none of us really knew until we speak, spoke to people how it would work. Because in our family, we've always bought a house. And all my stepdads have properties are houses as well. So yeah, just really to on that, you can share the property, um, the issues with whoever you live with. Which is less stressful all round, really. Number five, no one to motivate. Now what I feel about this is it relates to my depression video that I did about talking about my mental health and what's going on with me because when I feel low and unmotivated if you have been living with someone else they'd motivate you and support you to get on with your day and you could talk to them but when you're on your own I just find that I'm lying in bed way too long and I need to put daily plans in place and have my breakfast and put my mind in my iPhone. I found that really helped last time. So I'm going to try that again when I'm in the bath and set that up for tomorrow. Because when you're feeling depressed and down, it's not the rest. And number six, I've got cleaning the home. Now, as you guys know, I've done some cleaning videos on my channel during the lockdown and cleaning doesn't bother me. But for some people, I can see why it would. They either hate cleaning anyway or they miss sharing it. Like, I know a lot of people who are in relationships and couples. And for instance, I, I've got friends and one's a guy and one's a girl. And what they do is they either split the bills or they have split the job. As They'll do both. So then it's half and half. And I know a lot of people do that now, like splitting bills and splitting the job. And they'll just split the jobs depending on what people's skills are. If he's good at mowing or she's good at mowing the grass and one's good at doing the tea, they'll take like the dinners and turns or something like that. Um, if one's better at cleaning and it's got an eye for that, um, be it male or female, they can do that. But when you're on your own, you've got to do all your own cleaning. Did I have changed my bed behind me, in front of me, sorry, behind you guys it is. And I've changed my bed and it's been really hot, so it's really took it out of me, a lot of energy. So, yeah, it's nice to share um, your jobs as well some people like to do that because then it frees up your time obviously if you're splitting bills you get more money if you're splitting your time with cleaning the other person you know if it's 50 50 in a relationship and you're living with someone else you feel it's shared but when you're on your own cleaning i find the best tip for that is to put on either a radio station or a playlist but what i normally do again i listen to my audio book it doesn't bother me anything that slightly bothers me is move my phone around but that's that. Right, right on time because I'm trying to do shorter videos as well. Meals for one is number seven. This is the last one. I'm just going to put this over here. Now, meals for one are quite hard because, like I say, it's like buying the food in the early one. Meals for one are quite hard. I mean, I've had ready meals and they're high in sugars and fats and salts. And it's just disgusting when you look at the traffic light system and it says high in saturates and it's all red or you've got two red. And then you look, it's like 47% sugar or fat. So what I'm trying to do now, you guys let me know if you want to see it. But I'm going to do what I eat in a day series and healthy eating videos mixed in with these um, living alone diaries. I might mix them into vlogs. So let me know if you just want them on their own or mixed in with a day in my life type as I really enjoy doing these vlogs. I'm, I'm really excited to get back into doing them. And I think a lot of creators are who are a bit more selfish than myself because I've been in for so long. Everyone's decorated, they've done their properties up, so they're bored of that now. But going back to that, meals for one are quite hard, and I think it goes back to what I said earlier, really, with meal prep and stuff. Um, I always find it hard working shit, but I won't go on too much what's going on with work at the moment, as I have been looking for other jobs and stuff which are more nine to five because I find shift work isn't for me. I've done it for nearly two years now, nearly three years, and I find it really hard. Whereas if I just work Monday to Friday, nine to five i'd know what i've got the day next to do and get more into a routine i think but i think it's all about meal prep is the key i used to do things like spaghetti bolognese like i do the meat 
and all that side of it. Still got some downstairs. Freezy. And then I could take it to work and do the pasta in the morning. Or you could do the pasta at night, but just mix the meat in with it. So the spaghetti. Cottage pie is quite good in the winter. But in the summer, I don't know what you could really do. You could probably do the same. But I'll just do that. Um, meal prep it and freeze half of it once again because otherwise it just goes to waste. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a thumbs up if you've um, enjoyed it. And please comment below with any comments if you liked it or you didn't like it as this really helps me plan future content and understand you guys on what you're looking for, what you like and what you didn't. Also do subscribe as well and hit the notification bell if you want to see more of this content and general lifestyle content because I do do shopping hauls as well, cleaning and a good mix of lifestyle really but at the moment I'm going to be focusing on these kind of vlogs really living alone series as these have been requested so I've, I've, I do interact with everyone and coming back to you guys as well so that's all for this week take care bye